Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I love to do a lot of dollar store oriented makeup and shopping content. So if that sounds good to you, you are definitely in the right place. Make sure you take just one second, hit that subscribe button. It helps me and my channel out so very much. Also make sure you hit the bell notification. That way you're notified of future uploads. And of course, to all my returning Dollar Divas, thank you so much for coming on back for another video. So today I'm going to be testing the new LA Colors spring makeup that's been kind of coming up at the Dollar Tree. I hauled these items a couple of weeks ago and I'm excited to be finally trying them today. I've got a couple other items that are not necessarily new but new to me um, that I'll also be trying and anything that is not new to my channel I'll go ahead and skip over but I will have everything listed down below in the description box if you are curious about any of the products that you don't see on camera. So without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So I did my eyebrows already. Again, like I said, any product you do not see on camera will be down below in the description box. I also primed my eyelids. I know for like a long time I said I really haven't noticed a difference with like face primer or eye primer. I think I'm starting to know a difference in my eyeshadow with eyeshadow primer. Still not so much with face primer but eyeshadow primer, I'm starting to come to appreciate it a little bit more. And the one I have is from the Dollar Tree. And it's the LA Colors Eye Primer, the one that comes in the matte finish. So moving on to eyeshadow, I'm so excited about these duos. Dollar Tree. So I bought all four that they had when I found them. So there are four different like color stories. So I'm gonna do kind of like a spring, very kind of light makeup look today. And I might tap into a couple of them, I don't know. So I'm gonna go into this shade here, this is the color this one here is called Mirror Soul, and I'm just gonna kind of put that on my lid up to the crease. When I swatched these in my haul, they seemed amazing. The mattes were very creamy. The shimmers were very, very metallic, very super shimmery. You know, and that just generally is, if you're new to my channel or you haven't heard me say this before, generally with the LA Colors eyeshadows that you find at the Dollar Tree, I find that the less number of shades in the pan, the better quality. So the quads and now these duos are just seem to be phenomenal quality. And that is going on phenomenal. I did clean off my brush and so it's a little bit damp, which always helps as well. But like I said, I think these are just very creamy and nice anyway. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it kind of fresh and light. I'm gonna do my best. I don't always succeed at that. And then the duo better half, see it's this really kind of pretty, kind of mauve -y shimmer and it's got a slightly darker brown, and I'm gonna just kind of deepen this up just a little bit. Actually, that the color that's in there, it's actually, it's like a pink with like a shimmer, like with a slight gold sheen. It kind of, kind of has like NARS orgasm feels, you know? I think the shimmer that I'm gonna go with is gonna be in the Mirror Soul Quad. So as always, I'm gonna spray my brush. Wow. So good. I mean, absolutely so good. So good. Excellent quality, just like the quads that they had out several months ago. Amazing. Let me just blend that in just a little bit. That is just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shimmer. In the Duo Bestie, I'm gonna go into this shimmery shade right here. I'm gonna put that towards the inner part of like the outer third, like right here, just to kind of transition that a little bit into the matte shade. That is stunning. I would love to try the other quads in a future video because the colors are stunning. Probably not even gonna get to tap into this one here called Twin Flame with that beautiful green. Very beautiful, very light, very shimmery. Like I said, mattes are creamy, awesome. And these kind of more neutral color stories, you can kind of do a, a one and done or a two and done. <laughs> so I did find a new mascara at the Dollar Tree. This was in that same collection. They had a few different ones. They all had different colored caps and of course did different things. I decided to go with the full. This one has a pink cap. Yeah, just out of all of them, I thought this one would probably be the best for my particular lashes. But of course, like I said, they had like a lengthening one, a curling one. So you pick what's best for you. So this here is the brush. And we'll see, like I said, you know, like you know, the Dollar Tree leaves a lot to be desired in the mascara department, but I do have new lashes I'm trying today as well. Yeah, this is not really, not really any different than any of their other mascaras. It just feels, the best way I can describe it, it just feels very thin. It just feels like you put on your lashes and it kind of, for me personally, I have nothing anyway, you know that if you've been on my channel. It feels like I'm putting on clear mascara, which you know is perfectly wonderful for women that have like really beautiful eyelashes, but like 
literally does nothing. Like I swear they actually make my eyelashes look smaller, <laughs> look shorter. But yeah, this is literally doing, literally doing nothing. So, so definitely can't recommend, but you know, like I said, I expect this with the LA Colors mascaras from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, I wanna keep this look kinda of light. I'm not gonna use liquid liner. I'm gonna use my Ioni pencil liner and I'm just gonna very, very lightly line the top of my eye. So just a very, very, very thin, thin line. Again, if you've been on my channel, you've heard me rave about the Ioni eyeliner. It's amazing. It's so good. It's so, not something you would think, it's not of a quality you would think you could ever get at the Dollar Tree. Amazing. Every bit as good as anything I've ever tried. So the lashes that I have are by a brand called Diamond Cosmetics. I kind of see this from time to time. And these here in the style, Date Night. Now, typically these are a little dainty kind of for my taste, but I thought they would be really fun to try just because it's, I don't know if I've ever tried diamond lashes. Can't really remember. But I wanted to try them. It also comes with adhesive, which I usually find is pretty useless. But I just wanted to try them. Like I said, they're very dainty, but I think they'll actually be kind of perfect for this kind of a little bit more subtle, natural look. And I'll be using my Ioni Lash Glue, so I'm gonna pop these on and I will be right back. So my lashes are on and they're really pretty. They're very subtle, much more subtle than I'm used to. But um, but really, that's, this is what I wish my lashes looked like when I put on mascara. They're you know long, but not too full, not too over the top. They were a little different to put on because the band was kind of thick, but the lashes are a little like long and thin. But I did get them on, and like I said, I think they're just a very nice, kind of a more natural effect. I feel like usually with natural lashes, they're usually very short, but these, I like that they're kind of thinner, but long. So like I said, do not hate, um, I don't like Color Mates lashes, but do not hate the Diamond Cosmetics ones. I think these are actually pretty good, and really this type of lash is something that a lot of people might like versus something a little bit more dramatic. So as always, I'm gonna come back to the eyes, but I'm gonna move on to the face, and I do not have any new face products, so I'm gonna apply my foundation, concealer, and powder, and I will be right back. Okay, so all my face products are on. Again, I will have all of the products I just applied to my face down below in the description box. So I've used one of these before in a video, and this is just another shade. I, I did pick up quite a few of these cream gel blushes. I didn't pick up every single color, but I picked up a couple. This here is the shade Hypnotized. So the way I like to do my cream products is I like to just kind of dot some on, and I may have used too much. And I like to take like a, like any kind of a brush really, but a stippling brush is really, really great for cream products. Oh yeah, of course I went overboard, but it'll blend out really pretty. Once I kind of learned this method with cream blush, I started liking cream blush because for the longest time I didn't, but I would use my fingers and I feel like it would rub off my makeup. But I feel like this method here just kind of really deposits it really, really, really nice. I just kind of wiped off my brush because I'm gonna try to just kind of lessen up what I've done here a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually gonna clean off the same brush and use it for the bronzer. So I've kind of get two of these sticks. I have every shade of these, and these are the only two I didn't have. They're the contour sticks. This one here is in medium. I have light and dark. And this one here says bronzer. And the biggest difference is, is this one's shiny, this one is not. So I am gonna use them both today, I believe. So this is the medium one. I'm gonna do a little bit of light contouring with this one. And then I think I might go in with the other one and just kind of add a little bit of a glow. Like I said, I've used the dark shade for a long time and didn't even realize that they had a medium shade. And I bought this a while back and just have never gotten around to using it. Really nice, very subtle. Like I said, I was, I'm, I'm trying not to be extra today. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use the other one. This one here, like I said, it's a little bit shimmery. So here's the swatch and honestly, I don't even think at this point that's gonna even show up on my skin. So I honestly think I'm just gonna let that one go for right now, maybe try it on its own. I think I got just a little bit too much going for that to show up. And I do have a highlighter. I bought this a while back and I'm pretty sure I used it as a highlighter. I think I've only used it once though, but it's these LA Colors like Beauty Pots and this is the Glow Rush and this is in Brazen. So I'm just gonna swirl them all together and use it as a highlight. These would also make like beautiful shimmer shadows. That's just a really, really, really pretty glow. 
And actually, I might go ahead and, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that lightest shade under my brow bone, because I don't think I actually have a light enough color for my taste for under the brow bone. So really, these are some like very like multi-use products, honestly. See, look at that, that is stunning. It's like the perfect shade. It's not too white, but it's not too like gold either. And it goes beautiful. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna actually put that on the inner corner of my eye as well. So I'm gonna take a really thin little brush and spray it. I'm again gonna go into that lighter shade right there and go on the inner corner. I am highly, highly impressed. That is so, so, so pretty. So continuing with the eyes, they had several different like retractable eyeliners. They had like a cobalt, black, some other pastel shades, but I picked up white with the idea that I could put it in my waterline. So again, it's just, it's like they're retractable auto liners and I don't know how good this will do. You see, it's just a white eyeliner. And like I said, they had some fun colors as well. I'm gonna see if this doesn't do okay in my waterline. So it's not the creamiest, um, but you know, we know that about these liners. So that does seem to be subtle and buildable. Like if you go over it a couple times, it will kind of get a little bit more pigmented. Like I said, not the creamiest, but it got the job done. And I also went into my upper waterline with black liner. So the last and final step is the lips. Again, I'm gonna keep it light. I, I bought this when I hauled all that Ioni makeup and I have not used it yet. Bought two shades and I'm gonna try this one here today. This is the Ioni Tinted Lip Balm and this is in Warm Nude. I think I also have like a pinkish one too. But the shade here would go really nice with this kind of natural-ish makeup look. So it comes with this type of an applicator. Ooh, it smells good. Has a familiar scent, can't place it. Let's, let's see what it goes on like. And the packaging says it's uh, moisturizing as well. So we'll see. It doesn't taste as good as it smells. It has, it's like it tastes like cake, but like also plastic. <laughs> now it's really very pretty though. It's not sticky. It actually does feel moisturizing. I don't know how long it'll last or how long it'll feel that way. But the shade's really, really, really pretty. It's definitely perfect for this look, I feel. So here is the final look. I realize I don't do this enough. Like I don't like just like let you look at my makeup. So yeah, I'm very, very, very pleased with all the products. So I'll do a quick rundown on what I think. I like the medium contour stick. Really nice shade, especially when I'm not all that tan. When I'm a little bit more tan, the dark one works really great for me. This one here is a little bit more like foolproof though, because it's not so dark. And it's just, again, just a really nice effect. Great for contouring, can be used as a bronzer, probably even like an eyeshadow in a pinch. This one here just doesn't, doesn't seem like it's gonna show up as much on my skin, so I do wanna try it maybe on its own when I don't have another bronzer laid down. Again, maybe another kind of two-in-one product where you can use it as like an eyeshadow, something like that. Like, I've always liked these contour sticks. I love the light ones, the highlighter is really nice, all that kind of thing. So I just did want to, I did want to try the other couple of shades that I hadn't tried. I love this highlighter, a very nice multi-use product. You can use any of the colors individually or mix them together for highlight, even eyeshadow. We did use it for under our brows and our inner corner highlight. Great little products. I've got a blush as well, or a couple other ones as well. Very, very lovely little products here, these little eyeshadow pots and blush pots. Really a great product for $1.25 and multi-use, which is always great. The LA Colors liner, like I said, not the best. Um, you know, it's not the smoothest, the creamiest in the waterline, unlike, you know, the Ioni. Um, but you know, not terrible. Um, like I said, it is more of a subtle effect and you can build it up a little bit. Like I said, they do have pastel colors. So it's a way to maybe get a little bit of that effect without it being too much. Like sometimes if these are too pigmented, it's, it can look a little scary in your waterline, so definitely not a terrible product, but could, could be a little bit better for sure. The lashes, like I said, the style's a little natural for me, but that is kind of what I wanted. And yeah, like I said, better than the Colormates lashes. Probably still not quite as good as the LA Colors of the Ioni, but definitely, definitely not terrible. The lip balm, like I said, doesn't taste the best, but I love the overall look of it. Not sticky, feels like it's moisturizing and it does have like a nice color, like it's made my color really, I think, fairly true to the tube as well. So really excited to finally try this by Ioni. And last but certainly not least, the quads. I used at least one color out of all three of these right here. The only one we did not use, of course, is this one here that has the green and the gold, which we will at some point. Excellent quality. 
as you can see those shimmers they went on creamy and pigmented the mattes were again creamy pigmented not patchy not dusty amazing like i said the neutral ones you can do a one and done or a two and done very very simple pretty eye makeup look no fuss and really 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 good quality so i'll have some other relevant content up here on the screen but before you click on those videos make sure you hit the like button also share this video with anybody you think may enjoy it share it on your social media accounts it helps me out so much and helps get the word out about my channel and brings this type of content to people that love it and or need it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time